Good day everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you don't know me, my name is Colin. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I needed to go and get myself a new tent. Now, previously, I had an MSR Hubba Hubba, um, which I, I pretty liked. You know, I liked it. It was a nice tent. Um, I had a few niggly things that I could have changed on it. Um, however, when I needed to replace it, I really didn't want to spend the $800, that's 800 Australian dollars to get it replaced. So I did a bit of research and I came up with this tent. This is uh, by a brand called Nemo and the model is the Aurora Two Person. So let's quickly run over the specs of the Nemo Two uh, Two Person. It's uh, sizes. Um, basically, it's 132 centimeters wide by 223 centimeters long, uh, and 112 centimeters high, and it weighs about two kilograms. Here are the seven things uh, I really like about this tent, and then at the end of the video, I'm just going to give you the things that I think needs changed on it. So here we go. Now, number one on my list is obviously price. Um, the Nemo 2 retails for about $359 Australian dollars, uh, as opposed to the Hubba Bubba that's up at $800 plus Australian dollars. So the price is uh, pretty good for the, for the tent. Number two on the list is it actually comes with its own footprint, which is a big bonus for a tent because normally you pay extra for the footprint. And it is also very simple to put up. So number three, very simple to put up, uh, as you can see, probably up in a couple of minutes. Number four on the list is the ends of the tents actually have straight sides. Now, this is a big one because it gives you so much room on the inside. And that is a really big bonus. It doesn't feel claustrophobic at all on the inside. Now, number five on the list is the doors um, had a privacy, privacy screen that runs from the floor about up about 300 mils just to give you some privacy whilst you're lying in bed. Now, number six on the list is storage. Two really good sized pockets at each end and also a lamp pocket in the roof, uh, which was really handy. So great storage and the lamp pocket. And finally, number seven, this was a really good addition to this tent, was uh, is two vents at the end uh, to stop condensation. And they really do help uh, with the hubba. hubba. Uh, condensation was quite a big problem inside the tent, so those two vents do help a lot. Now, here are the things I didn't quite like. Now, first of all, the Tempex were cheapies, so I just replaced them with uh, with good Tempex. I suppose that's not a huge thing. The next thing that I did find that was a bit inconvenient was. On the doors, there was only the facility to peg one side out. And so in this case, um, I needed to peg the opposite side uh, door out to kind of vent, vent the wind inside the tent. It was just the way I positioned the tent. And I wanted the opposite door to be able uh, just to vent the wind through the tent for ventilation. Uh, obviously, I couldn't do that. So in the end, I ended up using my bike lock just to keep that door open. So if there's anything to change on the Aurora V2, if it ever arrives, is the facility to peg either door. Now, that's it for the uh, Aurora 2P. Now, overall, I love this tent. It was great. I had a really comfortable few nights away in it and would highly recommend it. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please like and subscribe. Uh, subscribers help us keep this channel going. And uh, we will see you again in the next video. So thanks for watching again and see you later.